Hello, my most amazing artists. Today, I thought it'd be fun to use the watercolors that you have at home. When I tried to think about what would be fun to do with watercolors, one of the first things that came to mind was a jellyfish. Since they don't really have a definite outline, you can kind of just be free with the watercolors and let them spread and be creative and use whatever kind of colors you want. What I'm gonna do today is use cool colors for the ocean and warm colors for my jellyfish to make it kind of stand out a little bit. What I would recommend that you use today to draw with is either a Sharpie or a white crayon. I think a white crayon looks super cool when you watercolor over it. I'm going to use a Sharpie today so you can see what I'm doing. If I use a crayon, you just won't be able to see that on the white paper as I'm drawing. I love the effect though that when I start painting over it, it kind of appears like magic. I'm super excited to do this with you, so go ahead and get something to draw with. Get your paint, a little bit of water, and let's get started. To start on my jellyfish, I'm going to use a black Sharpie. You are more than welcome to use a white crayon. Um, you're just going to have a different effect, so all of your outlines will be white after you paint. Since you won't be able to see what I'm doing, um, I'm going to use the black Sharpie. I might do a few details with the white so you can kind of get the idea. Um, that being said, if you have a different color you would like to use for your jellyfish, I mean, you could use a black crayon. Um, you could use really any color would work. However, I'm going to use black just because it's the easiest for you to see. I'm going to kind of put my jellyfish off to the side here because I think I'd like to make another one kind of coming into the picture over here. If you just want one jellyfish, I recommend putting it more in the middle. So the first thing I'm going to do is make the top of my jellyfish. It's going to be basically uh, a big curved line, almost looking like a balloon. So I'm gonna kind of curve up around and back down. Then I'm gonna make a bumpy line, but instead of making it straight across, I'm gonna make it curve up a little bit. So it's gonna give the top of that jellyfish a little bit more dimension. It's gonna look like it's actually round. So I'm gonna start making little bumps like this, going up, kind of getting flat here in the middle, and then curving back down. Then I can add some details here on the top. This is really completely up to you. I'm gonna add like a curve at the top. Um, just add some designs, little details. Then I like adding some lines from the curves up to the top. So I'm gonna curve them out on this side so they match this curve. And then I'll curve them on the other side like this so they match this curve. Just gives it um, a little bit more dimension, makes it look 3D. Now I'm going to add the tentacles to my jellyfish. These I think are so much fun to do. So they're just really long and I'm just gonna make these curvy lines, bringing it back up like this. They can be different lengths, like some can be shorter. Then I actually like going in and adding some looped lines and it's okay if they overlap with these. So I'm gonna just kind of loop around ever which way. It's kind of like filling in between the other tentacles. It 
just like that. The very last thing I'm gonna do is make a little line over here and over here to make the back of the jellyfish. So I have one jellyfish down. I can make another kind of swimming into the picture over here. So again, I'm gonna start with that curved line, make a few bumps. I'm not gonna be able to see much of the tentacles, which is okay. I rather like it when things go off the page. Put some details at the top. Again, I'm gonna curve these lines so they match the outside and I'll pretend, you know, like I'm bringing these lines down over here. Perfect. Just for fun, I might even add a few tentacles up here, like there's one that swam off the page. I kind of like how I've filled up my space on this paper. Alrighty. Now that I have the details on my jellyfish, um, if you want to go in and add um, anything with the white crayon, I'm gonna add some dots, which I know you can't see. Hopefully you'll be able to see them once I start painting. So I'm just going down, adding white dots. Sometimes if you press down too hard, you're gonna break your materials, which is exactly what I did. No big deal. Still a very usable crayon. Um, I also am going to draw a few more looped lines with this. It'll show up later when I paint. And I'm going to make some dashed lines on this one. So it's a broken line. Now that I have my jellyfish, I'm going to go ahead and get started. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my jellyfish all of the warm colors and I'm gonna make the water all of the cool colors. I like using many colors for water, not just blue. I think it makes the artwork a little bit more interesting. So I'm gonna dip my paintbrush in the water, wipe it on the side, and I like using yellow first so it doesn't mix with the other colors. So I'm going to use the side of my paintbrush to go around in a circle in the paint and then Start painting the top of my jellyfish. You can kind of see those white dots appearing. I'm gonna add a little yellow on this one as well. If you want the yellow to be darker, I would suggest dipping it back in the paint, going over it again. You're gonna get a more vivid color. When I'm done with my, well, actually, I want to do a few yellow tentacles. Since this is a jellyfish, I'm just not worried too much about staying in the lines. Okay, now I'm done with my yellow. I'll rinse off my brush by going around in a circle, wiping it on the side, and then using orange. I'm gonna go circle, circle in the paint. I'll add some orange at the top here. I like kind of mixing it into the yellow a little bit. Oh, you can really see those white dots start to show up. Love it. I'm gonna leave a little bit of room on that side for red. 
Again, you can see I'm trying to use the side of my brush, not the top. And I like painting in a circular motion. So I'm going kind of around in a circle. I find it really spreads out the paint nicely. Then I'm gonna add some orange on my tentacles, just bringing it down. You can start to see that those white tentacles show up. Now that I've used the orange, I'm gonna rinse off my brush again and use my red. So my red is just basically gonna fill in all the other parts of my jellyfish. So I'm filling in the rest of the top on both. Then I'm just gonna basically fill in these white spaces on the tentacles with the red. So in here, I'm just gonna fill in that with red. Looks like there's gonna be a little bit of red over here and I'll add a little bit on this side. Brush is starting to get dry, that's why I keep dipping it in the water. Now that I am done with the jellyfish, I'm going to start on the water. With the water, I'm going to use the cool colors, which are green, blue, and purple. What I'm gonna do is use the green first and then I'll use blue because blue and green kind of mix well together. And then I'll use purple last because blue and purple also mix well together. Purple and green, since they're not next to each other on the color wheel, if they start mixing together, they kind of start making a brown color. So I'm going to start with green. And I'm just going to start kind of filling in some different spaces. Not really, I don't really have a pattern in mind. Oh, I can see another tentacle appearing. That was kind of fun. Now I'm gonna rinse off my brush and use blue. And I can actually kind of go over my green a little bit if I want, it makes a turquoise teal color. Love it. I'm gonna leave some room for my purple. I'll leave some room for the purple at the top too. Rinse off my brush, wipe it on the side, use the side of my brush to get that purple paint. It looks rather black in your palette. So I can overlap it with the blue 
but it's just my recommendation. I would just go next to the green, not on top of it with the purple. Well, there you have it, artists. I really love my warm and cool color jellyfish. If you don't have paint at home, you are more than welcome to color this in. Um, and if you need paint, there's some available at the school. I hope you had a lot of fun creating this ocean scene with me today, and I will see you next time, artists.